It's old shit. Adam doesn't watch old shit unless it's M Night Shyamalan's old. Um, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm working my way into watching old shit, but just. But who's got the time? I mean, if every time I make a conscious effort to go out of my element, out of my comfort zone, and watch an older film, and I walk away from it going like, "Oh, that was nice," and it, but it, the experience itself was more like I was doing homework than it was me enjoying it. Then I'm not really that incentivized to do it so often that's unfortunately just been my experience like like okay i'll watch uh metropolis fritz lang i'm like oh that was interesting but i didn't like the acting wasn't good the story wasn't good <laughs> like mm. i mean it, i was like oh this is a, this is an important film for the time period and if i imagine other people being a person from like the what 19 19- 20s 20, was that 27 seven ish i imagine being a person in a theater in 1927 i might be like wow this is amazing but I'm not. <laughs> so uh, I think a lot of people that criticize me for not spending my time watching older films don't realize the scope of how many contemporary films I watch in a year. Quite a few. Um, so upwards maybe, upwards maybe of in, 10 this year. Maybe in their perspective, they'd be like, oh, what? If you're just watching movies, you'd have tons of time to check these old things out. Well, first of all, I'm watching more movies than you. Second, I'm not just watching movies. I'm editing. I'm recording voiceover. You know, I'm writing. I'm managing like 20 channels. So, no, I don't. <laughs> we'll see. I'll get to I'll get to them when I have time. I I apologize for not being a true cinephile like you. But anyway. Uh yeah, I apologize for not being a true pedophile like you. Mm-hmm. Uh where uh And I'm demonetized. And That's... whoops. Well, we tried. Thanks a lot. We gave it a shot. <laughs> 